There is no other church in Bulgaria which is so closely connected to the most important events in Bulgarian history than the Holy Forty Martyrs Church in Veliko Tarnovo. Following an important victory in battle with the local despot on the 9th of March in the year 1230, Bulgarian Tsar Ivan Asin II commanded that a recently built temple below his fortress be dedicated as the Holy Forty Martyrs Church. This church would be dedicated to the Forty Martyrs of Sebast, since the battle that they had just won took place on the day of the Feast of the Holy Forty Martyrs. He also commanded that the church interior be completely covered with murals. Holy Forty Martyrs Church was to be the royal church throughout the reign of the Asin dynasty. After the Ottomans took control of Bulgaria, the church was converted to a mosque. Then in 1853, the murals, the icons, and the altar were destroyed. Only a very small percentage of the murals survived. However, considering how thoroughly the Ottomans trashed the building, it's quite remarkable that they were able to reconstruct any of the art at all. In 1972, a royal burial of a man, 1.9 meters tall, lavishly dressed in expensive warrior armor and decorated with complex embroidery with woven leaf and pearls, was unearthed. On his body was a massive 61.1 gram gold ring bearing the royal seal and an inscription, Kayolan Prastin or Kayalan's Ring. After staying for years in the Museum of Veliko Tarnovo, Tsar Kayalan, one-time ruler of Bulgaria, was reburied at the Holy Forty Martyrs Church with honors. The Forty Martyrs Church was also the location of then Prime Minister of Bulgaria Stefan Stambolov's lavish wedding on the 18th of May, 1888. In this church, just a little bit later, on the 22nd of September, 1908, the Bulgarian Declaration of Independence from the Ottoman Empire was finally read aloud for the first time by Tsar Ferdinand. Today, preserved murals as well as epigraphic monuments within the temple remain some of the most important artifacts in Bulgarian history.